What's up boys, Shane here, and today I want to talk about the new gameplay update we got for Battlefield 5. So we got a teaser for the Lightning Strikes chapter, which comes in just a few weeks. Um, and then we also got a teaser at the end for Firestorm, which I'm super excited for. And we actually got sort of a tiny piece of gameplay for it. So I'll show the Firestorm gameplay first, and then I'll respond to that. And then I'll show some of the Lightning Strikes stuff I'm interested in after. But here is the brief Firestorm gameplay. So basically there you can just see four guys going towards a tractor. Uh, there isn't much you can see. You can see that there's actually some dirt on the map. There, it isn't all snow like we saw in the original gameplay trailer, um, which is kind of cool. However, it does still seem like it is in a snowy setting. Um, in addition to this, the idea of driving a tractor is super awesome. Um, I think this is more of a further hint towards the fact that all the vehicles that you will be able to see on the map, you'll be able to drive, which I think is really good. It's um, in normal Battlefield games like Conquest and stuff, it was pretty annoying seeing like the normal cars and stuff just sitting there and not being able to drive them. Um, I know they wouldn't be used in a war setting, but it is pretty cool to see them in a Battle Royale setting. Um, I think if Firestorm does well, it could potentially save Battlefield 5. However, I think they'd have to make it free and then rely on the microtransactions because I'll show briefly on screen some of the microtransactions and some of the new outfits that were sh uh, shown and some of them actually look really cool. Um, these outfits are much better than the ones you're getting at the beginning of the game um, and they definitely look more World War II-esque. Um, in addition to this, I'm hyped for the co-op mode as well. Um, it looked like it had some potential and like it could um, have some fun levels. I might do something where I like play the co-op mode with subscribers or something like that. That would be pretty fun. I will have to see when it comes out though. And something that I am very hyped for if it's done right is the rush mode coming back. Sadly, apparently it might only be playable during the uh, lightning strikes um, chapter of Tides of War. Um, I'll definitely give it a try in the video and tell you guys what it's like. Um, I ha don't have too high hopes for it. I don't think it's going to be amazing. But I hope that they do give options um, for 32 player servers and it's not just 24 like Battlefield 1. Because I really think that killed Rush in Battlefield 1 was having the 24 players. It just was not hectic enough, didn't have enough gunfights. And um, I'm sort of hyped to get back into playing Battlefield 5. I haven't been playing it too much. Um, I'm super hyped for Firestorm though. Um, some of my friends might even buy the game just to play Firestorm, which is exciting. However, if it's free, I know pretty much all my friends will end up trying it out. Um, so I think that Battlefield would be wise to make it free, um, and they'd really be able to um, give themselves an edge over Blackout um, in that sense, because I believe Blackout, once Black Ops 4 is over, they'll likely make it free. Um, they did this with Black Ops 3, and it ended up being the most played game on the PlayStation uh, 4 from last year, because it had like... 55 million downloads on the PS4, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but again, guys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what you guys think about this new Battlefield 5 information and gameplay. And tell me if you guys think Operation Firestorm can save Battlefield 5. Um, I'm somewhat um, I'm somewhat wary of claiming that entirely. Um, but I do think if it's free, it definitely has a chance to save this game. And I think this game can improve over time. I just... Hope the DICE continues to put the effort in, and I hope that at some point we get the Pacific Theater into this game. Again, boys, that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.